Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well, swell, and all the things. <laughs> my craft room is a mess or I would do this face to face. However, like I said, it's a mess. So we're going to get through this very quickly because I have dinner cooking upstairs and I have a lemon pepper chicken in the air fryer and the air fryer is going to go off in 10 minutes. So let's see if I can do it. So here we go. Walmart clearance haul. Look what I got y'all. I am so excited. Looky there. Black goes with everything. And hello, we love this wired ribbon. And I got this mesh. I got so much other things, but I went ahead and put them away. Walmart had a lot of fall and Halloween stuff left over for 75% off. So your girl loves a good deal. I sure do. I guess I do. Okay, this haul is going to be a team new haul. And I'm going to jump right in and show you all the goodies that I got because they're fabulous. I cannot wait to show you guys these right here. These are vintage Christmas postcard and they are thick, y'all. Look at her. Isn't she sweet? Look at this with her little dolly. Yes. Look at this vintage Santa man. We got December 27th, Christmas Day. Look at this funky looking elf. Oh, the reindeer. Look at my darling babes. Oh, snap. We got us another vintage Santa. The little boy that's dropping all its ornaments. Another vintage Santa. This little girl and her dolly and this darling girl. So, so excited to be able to play with those. Those are going to be so much fun. I thought I was buying a little bit bigger wood rounds. Obviously, I didn't. Um, I am debating on doing a return uh, because I got some of the stuff I got. I was like, eh, I don't need that. So there are things on there that I still want. So I can put my money towards something else. And of course I got earrings, but y'all they're already upstairs and put away. So we're not going to worry about that. I got these cool little clamper guys that put wood clamp together for wood pieces. Um, in the corners because a lot of the clamps you know you can clamp them down but this is easier for corners so I thought that would be a good thing to have in my stash and then I also got these these are really really cool these are just little um corner pieces that you put your piece of wood on top of so that when you're painting it doesn't mess up your project or mess up your surface so those were super cool and I think they were like a dollar not bad I'm loving those as well yes darling yes darling look at me y'all you have to forgive me I'm a little cuckoo I'm a little crazy and I mess up my words y'all know this but look at this little itty bitty baby Alani it is 528 and I need a little pick me up. So this one is awesome because it only has a hundred gram or a hundred milligrams of caffeine and she's so cute. Oh, she's so, so cute. And I found her at Kroger's. So I also picked up some more rusty bells. If you guys, if you haven't seen my other haul yet, I got these rusty bells from Timu. I got this size of rusty bells. And then I also picked up this size of rusty bells. So I got all the size of the Rusty Bells. I got these. These are really cool because they're very vintage. And then I even picked up these size of Rusty Bells. Y'all, do I got a thing going on with Rusty Bells? Jingle, jingle. Looky at my bells. I love my bells. They're so cute. <laughs> Why does Rusty Bells make my heart so flippity floppity happy? Don't know. But I do know is... Um, they're pretty affordable on Timu, and I'm here for affordability and a good deal. All right, I also picked up some of these vintage-looking button, wooden button hearts, and I love, I think putting these on little projects will be so cute. And then I picked up the stars as well, but if you put them side by side, you can tell these are more of a reddish wood, where these are more of like a darker wood. But you can paint them, so I'm okay with it. We're going to leave them as is. I picked up some more rusty stars. These are itty-bitty stars versus the stars that you get from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I got all this stuff right beside me because I've been um, creating and crafting. And what I like about this, this rust is a little bit closer color to the bigger stars. So I got a little baggie of them. Love them. I also got some drawer pulls, which really didn't realize what they were when I purchased them. Um, they do have a screw top on them, but I figured they'd be perfect on little projects. You know, like how you do 
I had something in mind. I was going to do something like um, a flattened one like this on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Like on the Dollar Tree boxes and stuff. I have like a little scenery in my head with this guy. So, yeah, I haven't really got to craft too often yet since I did my last little projects. So, I haven't had a chance to do it. I also got these guys. These are super cool. Look at these. There's a whole bag of them. Um, I also had in my mind that these would be great for stuff like this or to add little um, elements in there for height, you know, that sort of thing. And yeah, so I picked up those. They were fairly inexpensive as well. I picked up some wooden letters because I like the size of them. I picked up more half beans beads. I don't know why. I picked up a bunch in the last haul too. And I don't need them. <laughs> I sure don't. And then I picked up these a snowman face. And there's so many different options. They're stencils. And I picked them up so that I could be try my hand at, you know, snowman faces. And there's reindeers. How cute. There's so many different options in here. Um, but what I noticed, look at there, there's a bow. What I noticed is I don't know if they're going to be big enough for my projects, um, especially working with wood pieces. So, like, I like that this is its own hat and then got the snowman face, you know. That's kind of cool. I definitely will keep them, but I'm on the hunt for a little bit bigger ones. Look at her. She's a little reindeer unicorn girl. How sweet is she? She's darling. So, so cute. So we're definitely going to keep these, but I'm on the hunt for a little bit bigger size. Because, I mean, this face right here would be just the perfect size for this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe just the eyes. You know, I could probably do just eyes and tape everything else off. But, yes, those little sweet little faces are the most darling little things ever. These guys were actually kind of expensive for Timu. They were like four bucks, I think. That's a little pricey for me, if you ask me. <laughs> and then I picked up some more of these um, finger daubers for my uh, ink pads. And then I also picked up a phone um, holder that clips onto anything but it doesn't hold up my phone it doesn't stay very well so i really probably now that i'm doing this haul with y'all need to do a um a return so and then the i picked up these wooden pieces which so i thought these would be this size here and then i thought these ones would be the bigger ones but they're not um these i don't know they were pretty pricey as well they already have a hole in them to make them into ornaments i just i don't know if i'll keep them or not once again i feel like they were a little bit pricey for timu and then i seen this and fell in love with it i started to do a cow print in my car and this is to hold tissues on the mirror part but it doesn't fit my mirror so definitely probably gonna have to do a return <laughs> all right and then they also had which is pretty cool they had these wood plaques okay they're fairly like real thin wood i thought that they'd be easy to cut shapes out of or just to make a sign out of um i got four of this size i think it was only like a dollar 12 or something like that definitely dollar tree prices and then i also got them in a 12 by 12 so i figured if anything they'd be good backing on projects and then I can build my own frames, you know, that sort of thing. That's what I was thinking. I'm sure they are for the laser cut um, machine, but I can use them for anything else that my little heart desires. Right, ladies? Yes. So that is a part two of my Timu haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I think the air fryer just went off, so I need to go and check on the lemon pepper chicken. And y'all, if you haven't seen these and you don't do well with caffeine, 100 milligrams is really just the perfect touch for a pick-me-up. So until next time, you guys, I will talk at you later. Bye-bye now.